Welcome to Yadna Investment Academy. You must have heard the term PE ratio a lot of times. But do you know what it really means? And what do PE ratio figures really imply? Well, in this video, we are going to talk about the same. PE ratio is nothing but price to earnings ratio. For example, if the current price of a stock is rupees 100 and this stock has earned rupees 5 per share in the last 12 months for its shareholders, the PE ratio works out to be 20. Now what does this 20 imply? It implies that to own this particular stock, we are willing to pay rupees 20 for each rupee the stock is earning. When the PE ratio is lower, it indicates that the stock is cheap to buy and when the PE ratio is higher, it indicates that the stock is expensive to buy. PE ratio can be a deciding factor when you want to choose between two stocks when their market capitalization, growth rate, debt, risk, consumer market, market segment, etc. are same. You cannot compare two stocks on the basis of PE ratio alone if their market segment is different. For example, Capital intensive stocks like infrastructure, metals, auto, etc. would usually have a lower PE ratio than the others like the ones offering services. If a company seems to be promising a steady growth rate in its earnings, you might want to pay a premium price to own that stock. As you are sure, you would get back your money early. You might also want to pay a higher price for a stock which seems less risky, which has delivered steady performance in the past. A debt-ridden company's PE ratio might look good, but the debt the company has is not accounted for in the PE ratio. PE ratio where the earnings of the past 12 months is considered is called a trailing PE ratio, but the past performance of a company may or may not be repeated. PE ratio of an index is the weighted average PE ratio of the stocks it constitutes. A lower PE ratio indicates an undervalued market. A higher PE ratio indicates an overvalued market. An overvalued market gives you an exit opportunity. Opportunity to book profits and shift your funds to debt as the market may see correction and as a result it may come down. An undervalued market indicates that you should invest into equities to participate in the stock appreciation. A PE ratio of an index below 16 is considered lower, that means it is undervalued. And a PE ratio of an index above 21 is considered higher, means it is overvalued. PE ratio should not be used as a sole criteria to buy stocks. If PE ratio of a stock has dipped, you need to find out why it has happened rather than believing it is a good time to buy the stock. There is another term called as forward PE ratio, which is based on the expected earnings in the coming 12 months. The forward PE ratio is based on the analysis by research analysts, which can be speculative. Friends, in this video, we have seen what is a PE ratio. We have also seen when a PE ratio is a deciding factor when you have to choose between two stocks and we have also seen what is an index PE ratio. Hope you now know what is PE ratio. Thanks for watching this video. Watch this space for more such topics. Until then, happy investing. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below our videos and if you like our videos, please do subscribe. Thank you.